Hi, this is Pete from Divi Engine. Today we're going to be talking through the submenu appearance for Divi Mobile. So the submenu by default with Divi is pretty boring. Actually, yeah, it's it isn't very good for the user experience. It just the submenu just expands really long. Divi Mobile helps you to create it's some really cool, clever submenu styles. So the first thing you want to do is go into customizer, go to submenu appearance in Divi Mobile. And then you be you have different styles you can choose from. So the first one is collapse nested. This is you may have seen some tutorials on this online, so we just have done it for you, it's really easy. Overlap slide in or side by side. So let's just leave collapse nested for now and what that does is just expands open like that. I mean, you can re first of all remove the border at the top, set a max width, that's more for the overlap slide in. You can add some space to the top if you want, change the background color. Uh, change the text color on hover, font size, alignment, padding top. Okay. Now this way gets interesting is you can change the sub menu icon. So if you click on here, it takes you through to the Elegant Themes website where it shows you all the Divi icons. Scroll down, and when you see some arc, uh, here are the icons, and then basically you want to copy what comes after the X and before the so a semicolon, you want to copy that. So for example, if you want this one, you want to copy 39 and then paste it in here. So at the moment I've got, uh, by default, is 4C, which is this plus icon. So I could, uh, I mean, that's quite, quite useful for um, this collapsed one. But let's say I want to change it maybe to this 43, which is this one over here. So I can just type in 43, it'll do a, it'll check it out and change it. So there we go. So you can say, open up, but then obviously the clo the X isn't, doesn't really make much sense. You kind of maybe want to have it so it faces the other way. So you can do that. You can also change the closed icon and also rotation. So let's just go through. So 43, I've changed the 43. I can change the color, font size. The position is quite interesting, so you can have it like just after the menu or far right. Far right, you won't see it now because I have a setting of minus 27, so let's just pull that forward. So far right would push it all the way to the edge, or if you have it just after the text menu, it'll push it just after. I'm going to leave it just after for now. The other thing you can do is choose a rotation for the, the icon when it's open. So that's, that looks pretty cool, but obviously it doesn't quite work because it goes from a triangle into a, a X. So I'm just going to add 43 again as the close icon, just for this example. And then it opens up nicely. It's pretty cool. Uh, change the close color, font size, distance from top, and distance from the left. So yeah, so that's um, that's pretty much the settings uh, to sub menu. But where it gets interesting is when you choose the different sub menu styles. So there's one called the overlap slide in. This one's uh, quite a nice one where it slides in over it. So the sub menu background obviously that's transparent, so that's why <laughs> that's why you could see it. But there we go. Now obviously. The icons don't quite suit the style. So if I have a look on the elegant uh, icons, this one's pretty cool, 24. So for the open, I want to have it as 24. That's kind of saying to me, okay, open. Oh wait, that's, sorry. Let's publish it. Reload. So, so um, I don't know if you've seen previous videos, but sometimes if you do a, if there's a big change, you can the, the customizer can just uh, uh, like get confused a little bit. 
So the close icon is that one, which I don't think looks right either. So we want to maybe change it to 23. So close icon will be 23. Let's have a look at this now. Okay, cool. But it isn't quite nice, so it isn't quite right. So let's increase the font size. Let's move it down from the top. Move it on the left. Okay, so that's kind of in line with that with the close icon. The only thing that I don't like is is that. And also that rotation down looks pretty weird. But is this of yeah, you want to kind of have space above it. So what you can do is you can add space. So many text padding on top. Oh sorry, that's the wrong one. Uh, space at the top of the sub menu, so you can move that down. There we go. Um, now, if I publish it and reload. So the reason why it was jumping down was because of the live preview customizer because it was due to the different sub menus the CSS that we add to kind of do the live preview affected and um for the other menu but anyway as you can see it it works fine now when you customize when you preview when you publish the changes The other sub menu style is the side by side this is quite a cool one this is really uh, useful when you have a number, like quite a lot of submenus. Or, oh, yeah, submenu items. And what this does is this just flips across and you can see all the ones on the right hand side. I want to remove that space at the top. Publish it. On the submenu. Okay, and I could even push some space on the top on the menu, move that down nicely so it fits in line with it. There we go, and then I might want to change the sub menu, background color. I don't know, I'm just kind of playing around now. So there we go, so that's another uh, pretty cool um, sub menu style. This one, yeah, as I said, it's really helpful when you have a lot of menu items. Uh, you can list them all down on this right hand side. Okay, so that's the sub menu. So we'll be adding more sub menu as we go along. But uh, yeah, this 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 is a great, uh, well, I feel a great addition to the, um, you know, improving the user experience on um. On our uh, on the mobile, another cool one to have a look at. Sorry, I just noticed over here is the sub menu max width. You could change the sub menu max max width, so it kind of overlaps. So th this this works quite well when you have it as a desktop. So you can see uh, I just gonna publish publish this. Reload it. Divi Mobile, slide in menu. So that's quite cool. Where you can uh have have it kind of come in on the side. I want some space on the top. Change the font size. I want to have it left aligned. Yeah. Quite cool, isn't it? And then you can. So that that with all the other side, other elements, the possibilities are endless. We can inject some layouts into the head if we want. And this um this you can by injecting 
some layouts into the head in a previous video you see you can add <laughs> that's a bit big but add um, you know your your logo to the top if you want you can obviously change that in the Divi Builder um, yeah so that's uh, that's the sub menu uh, let us know what you think if you have any questions please get in touch uh, yeah I just hope this has been helpful and kind of giving you some ideas on how, how to handle your sub menus. Um, have a great day and thanks very much.